Good afternoon, Washington. Today is Monday, April 22nd, 2019. It is a B-Day, and if you didn't know it yet, today is Earth Day. Celebrate and protect our natural environment by taking part in Earth Day. Join with community groups to explore environmental and ecological issues on local and international scales and work towards making a difference to our habitat. And if you just thought, what can I do as just one person to make a difference, and decided to tune out, well, get tuned in. If everyone does a small part to make the Earth a better place, it can have a huge impact. Here are some ways you can start. By limiting your meat consumption, go meatless on Mondays. Did you know that the meat industry is responsible for approximately 20% of the world's greenhouse gas emissions? In fact, producing one calorie of meat requires nearly 20 times the amount of energy as one plant calorie. Here's another suggestion. Stop using disposable plastic. Nearly about 300 million tons of plastic are produced each year to make bags, bottles, packages, and other commodities for people People all over the world. Unfortunately, only about 10% of this plastic is properly recycled and reused. The rest ends up as waste in landfills or as litter in our natural environment, where it leaches dangerous chemicals into the nearby soil and water, endangering humans and wildlife alike. Something everyone can do is recycle e-waste to help reduce toxins in our landfills. Did you know that more than 50 million tons of electronic waste, or e-waste, is generated each year in the U.S. alone? and that only 20 to 25 percent of the waste is responsibly recycled? As a direct consequence, large amounts of hazardous materials such as lead, mercury, and cadmium leach into our air and water, contaminating our communities. Help end this dangerous practice by pledging to recycle your e-waste in a safe and responsible manner. One last suggestion is buy local produce. This will save nutrients and CO2. As soon as it as soon as produce is harvested, it starts losing nutrients. Three days after being picked, the majority of produce has already lost one-third of its original nutritional value. Since the average piece of produce sits for seven days during its transit from the farm to the produce aisle, this means those fresh fruits and vegetables at the supermarket have already lost nearly half of their original nutritional value when you buy them. Fortunately, the Dubuque Outdoor Farmer's Market starts on Saturday, May 4th. This is a great place to get your local produce and support local vendors. So get mindful about your surroundings and do your part to save Mother Earth for generations to come. Now, on with the announcements. Have you checked out what is being offered for upcoming leave activities? If not, you should. Lots of great offerings here at Washington. For any student who attends LEAP, either homework help or activities, 10 times between April 22nd and May 31st, you'll be treated to a Little Joe pizza on the last day of school for a lunch one day. Anyway, let's get to these announcements. All cast members of Susicle must turn in your script to Mrs. Schumacher or you will be charged. Please turn them in by today. The 7th Annual Warrior Dash will be held on Friday, May 3rd. It costs $15 to register, which includes the cost of materials for the dash, a t-shirt you will receive after the race, and a healthy snack upon completion of the running. Sign-up sheets are available in the office. This is a fundraising event to support the Renaissance program. All money raised supports student character education and recognition. So get out there and get those pledges and corporate sponsors. The Washington School Dance is this Friday, April 26th, from 5.30 to 7.30. Spend the night dancing with your friends. And don't forget to buy a dance ticket in the cafeteria this week. Now stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Here's one last new announcement. Sixth grade football and volleyball starts soon. The first day of practice is May 13th, and it will continue through the 25th. Please stop by the main office to sign up and also make sure you have a sports physical on file. Now, since we don't have any birthdays today, let's leave with the thought of the day. The earth is what we all have in common, and good earths are hard to find. Now stay tuned for this message from iStep. Enjoy, Enjoy Mother, Mother earth, earth Today, Wash! Hi, we are the iStep Club. iStep stands for Iowa Students for Tobacco Education and Prevention. Our go goal is to educate students on the harmful effects of tobacco. And we have made this video for Earth Day. So, cigarette butts are the most littered item on earth. 
75% of smokers report that they dispose of their cigarettes on the ground. Cigarette buds are toxic waste. They contain chemicals that contain, contaminate our waterways and ground soil and harm our wildlife. Discarded lit buds can cause fires and destroy homes and land. The toxic exposure from cigarette buds can contaminate water and poison fish, as well as animals that eat cigarette buds. Smoke created from burning tobacco called secondhand smoke contains more than 7,000 toxic chemicals that pollute the environment and, rent and can be toxic even after the tobacco is put out. Secondhand smoke affects air quality and becomes more toxic over time. This is the residue from secondhand smoke that gathers in dust and on objects and surface, surfaces like clothes. These can end up in landfills and waste, farther pollution in the environment.